Hey now, today I am going to be cold smoking some bacon. Um, usually what I've done in the past, uh, if you've seen my video on cold smoking bacon, I just usually have a small quantity of charcoal on that rack down there and then some chunks of maple wood and it uh, works really well in my large uh, brick smokehouse here. Uh, today, however, I'm using this um, hexagonal uh, pellet smoker and I'm going to use some maple wood uh, pellets in this and I just want to see how it's going to work in this uh, large smoking space um, I got a really good deal on this uh, little smoker here So I'm just gonna give that a whirl and see how it works Now in this little smoker here, I'm going to be using uh, Vermont castings uh, Maplewood pellets and uh, this is my first time actually using pellet smoking uh, Pellets uh, for smoking anything around my place. So I'm really curious to see how this works out Okay well, it is time to flame on here, so I'm just going to get these uh, top, this little top layer of pods going with this uh, my grill torch here, and then we will see how much smoke this makes. Well, that looks like that's a pretty, uh, pretty decent little flame there, so I'm just going to blow that out, and I dropped a couple of them. That's not a big deal. It's going to leave this here. Might slightly reposition that. So it's kind of right in the middle like so. And that's going to have that smoke going up. Hopefully that's uh, going well enough that it won't go out. And then you can just see here, um, I've got a layer of uh, fire brick there that's directly underneath that. So if there is any sort of direct heat coming up, it shouldn't, uh, um, it'll be deflecting off of those and shouldn't be causing a problem. So yeah, I'm going to give this a little while. We'll see how much smoke is going on through here. Awesome. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see that super well in the video, especially with all this gray Calgary freaking uh, sky backlighting here. However, this is definitely doing the trick. Look at that. Oh yeah, lots of nice cold smoke. It smells amazing out here in the backyard. So this uh, so far seems to be like uh, a definite success. These. Um, this particular smoker tube says that it should last for up to about five hours. So I guess we'll see how long that it actually does last. It took about, uh, whoa, oh, we got a kid here. Um, it took about, I'd say five to 10 minutes, um, before I noticed like smoke really kind of coming out of here. And it's just like a really nice, uh, trickle coming out, which is awesome. So super excited about the bacon. Okay. So yesterday I wound up, um, refilling this about halfway. Um, the initial smoker tube lasted almost four and a half hours. Um, so then I just added a little bit more to it just to finish it off. And then uh, it was cold enough outside that I just let these uh, slabs of belly sit in here overnight. Um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, I am super happy with uh, how that worked. That was definitely easier than um, a pile of charcoal and some chunks of wood going on it. Um, far less maintenance. I only had to... Uh, adjusted one time just because I wanted to extend the uh, the smoke. So yeah, I'll absolutely be using this in the future. So yeah, anyway, that was a fun little experiment. So till next time, keep it right 11.